to present a special edition of the Dan O'Donnell Show this morning. It's Better Know a Candidate, helping you better know your local candidates. For village board, school board, mayor, county executive, every nonpartisan race that's on the ballot as early voting continues and we continue the state's largest early vote drive. If you would like to let us know that you took part, shoot us a text on the adventnose.com talk and text line 414-799-1130 or you can reach us toll free 1-800-838-9476. Email me directly dod at iheartmedia.com at Dan O'Donnell Show on X, Facebook.com slash Dan O'Donnell Show and streaming live on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Dan O'Donnell Show as well. Here's how it works. For the next two hours, you are going to be hearing from local candidates. They are going to be running for all manner of nonpartisan offices, but we open the floor to them. I'm going to try to give as many as humanly possible the opportunity to reach the widest number of potential voters as possible by putting them on for a minute or two and just letting them talk about themselves, letting them give their platform, letting them tell you why it is that they're running. Why we do this is because a lot of these people are just like you and me. They're regular, everyday citizens who decided to get active. There is no more important style of politics than local politics. There is no more important government than local government because that is the government that not only has the most impact on your life, but that you have the most ability to impact. Candidates, our phone lines are open. I will warn you that the lines fill up very, very quickly. If you can't get through, shoot me a text, shoot me an email, and we will try to just read a, a brief blurb about you. But please do keep trying because occasionally the lines will open up. Again, the adventnose.com talk and text line is open, 414-799-1130. You can also reach is toll free 1-800-838-9476. We begin with our very first candidate, someone I am absolutely beyond proud of because she told me that she was going to run for Whitnell School Board at my house on Christmas Eve. In the interest of full disclosure, she is a very close family friend. In fact, our families have spent Christmases together for many years. Please welcome, first up, Rhonda Perry. Rhonda, thank you so much for joining us on Better Know a Candidate. Rhonda, are you there? Oh. Rhonda, are you there? Hello? Okay, I guess we're having some phone issues with Rhonda. We'll try again. Let's go to another very close friend, someone who has been very active in Republican Party politics for a very long time. We have Eric Brooks, who is running for the Waukesha School Board. Hey, Dan, how's it going? Not too bad, Eric. So I have been working with you on Republican politics for a long, long time. I have been saying that you are one of the smartest young minds, one of the smartest minds, period, in Republican politics. You've been working on campaigns for a long time. You've been active in young Republicans. And now you finally started your own political career. Yeah, I figured uh, after after years of helping get Republicans elected up and down the ballot, I you know we were looking for a candidate here in uh, school district of Waukesha, and a bunch of my friends said, you know, you've helped us. I think it's time for for you to run. I think you'd be able to offer the school district uh, a lot, and so I uh, decided to step up, put my name on the ballot. I'm really excited to be able to run alongside fellow conservative fighters Kelly Piasek and Anthony Zenobia, and you know I've, I've been advocating for children, families, and conservative values for my entire adult life. I'm running because we need to make sure that on the school board we're pr protecting parental rights, that we're holding the line for taxpayers, but most importantly, we need to make sure that we are prioritizing academic excellence, not academic activism. I'm a former educator. 
Um, currently working in Madison, I've been able to work on education policy. In fact, I played a very active role on what's now Wisconsin Act 20, uh, which is a bipartisan early literacy reform bill that is going to put phonics back in your kids' classrooms. We have about 70% of Wisconsin fourth graders right now who cannot read at grade level. This is a crisis. And I'm very, very honored to have played a small part in helping address this crisis. But, you know, let's not pretend like this crisis happened overnight. This is the result of decades of failure by the um, education establishment here in the state of Wisconsin. He is Eric Brooks. He is running for the Waukesha School Board. Eric, where can people find you online? Uh, you can find us online or find me online at brooksforwaukesha.com, facebook.com slash brooksforwaukesha. And if you're in the school district of Waukesha, you have friends, family, heck, call your in-laws if you have to. Um, we need every vote we can get. Um, Jill Underly, the state superintendent, is out here stumping for our two far-left liberal candidates because she knows they're going to be a rubber stamp for the status quo. I'm running because we need to disrupt the status quo in public education. Our kids can't afford it anymore. All right, Eric, best of luck to you. I'm sure we will be in touch. Should we try again? Do we have the phone lines fixed? We have Rhonda Perry running for Whitno School Board. Rhonda, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing, Dan? I am doing fantastic. As I said, uh, I am so honored to have you running and, and put your hat in the ring in the interest of full disclosure as well. I am a proud graduate of Whitnell High School. I have a lot of experience with the district. A lot of my friends still have kids in the district, and I've known you for as long as I've known my wife. You and my wife's family are very, very close. You grew up with her, so We've spent a lot of holidays together, and I am just so happy that you've decided to run. But as you told me on Christmas, why was it that you decided to run? Um, yes, I think we definitely have some improvements to make in Whitnell. I want Whitnell to be a destination district again. We, we were, Whitnell was years ago, and we need to get back to that. I want Whitnell to be thriving again. So, you know, we have some academic opportunities to close. I want teachers to feel supported and encouraged, and I want them to want to be at Whitnell. I want parents to feel that their children are safe and receiving a high-quality education, and I want a community that is absolutely proud of the district and, and wants to be a part of the district and is in, involved and informed. And where can people find you online, Rhonda? You can find me on Ron, Rhonda Perry for Whitnell School Board at Facebook. And you're actually running with another candidate who we hope to hear from today, correct? That's Sean Flynn? Correct. Sean Flynn, we both have a lot of the same same goals, same objectives for the Whitnell District, so we've been partnering together. So definitely please vote for Rhonda Perry and Sean Flynn on April 2nd. Well, thank you so much, Rhonda. Best of luck to you. Let's go out to Washington County, where we are pleased to be joined by the Washington County Executive, who is on the ballot again, uh, Josh Schoenman. Do I have that right, Josh? Showman, like the greatest showman. Like the greatest showman. Okay, it is Josh Showman. Now, I've wanted to ask you this since I saw you call in a couple of minutes ago. Are you currently calling me from the Cracker Barrel? <laughs> I am not. I am not. I had my uh, uh, gravy and biscuits this morning. I'm already on my way doing work, knocking doors. <laughs> For those who don't get the joke, uh, Josh and the mayor of Milwaukee, Cavalier Johnson, had a little back and forth over the city's new sales tax. And Josh, you said something to the effect of it's going to cost a whole lot more to go out to eat in Milwaukee because of this. The mayor shot back, well, all they eat at in Washington. Washington County is Cracker Barrel, to which I said, um, okay. I've actually been at your Cracker Barrel. It is fantastic. I'm a huge fan of Cracker Barrel. Uh, but the bottom line is, I think what you wanted to convey is that Washington County is a far more responsible steward of the taxpayer's money than is Milwaukee County, which has suddenly, almost overnight, well, I shouldn't say overnight, but it's really turned into a tax hell. It, it really has, and it's a sad state of affairs. You know, the hard 
working people of the city of Milwaukee of Milwaukee County are struggling. They get this highly regressive sales tax and huge numbers that'll cost them thousands of dollars a year. And now they're facing the bar- down the barrel of an MPS referendum that the increase alone will be larger than Washington County's operational tax levy. Our total tax uh, tax rate, excuse me, uh, this increase alone in MPS will be bigger than our full tax rate in the, at Washington County. Sad. <laughs> wow. That is incredible. So you are running for another term. Why? I'm running for another term because I really am a big believer in do what you say you're going to do. And if you look at my record with Washington County, that's what we've done. Smaller government in every way you can think of, every measurable. I'm a courageous conservative. You know, we're so sick and tired of politicians who get into office telling us they're going to do one thing and, and they don't do it at all. I've done it. And most importantly, being on this ballot, I'm on a polls. But here's the thing. we got to get conservatives out voting in mass right now because these local races, as you mentioned at the beginning, this is where the rubber hits the road. You can really feel the impact of local elected officials at the county, town, village, city, school board level. And so we really need to drive that. I'm all about being a problem solver. I've done it. In, in my tenure at Washington County, and I'll continue to do it and deliver for the people of Washington County. And Josh, how can people find more about your campaign online? The easiest thing is my website, joshshoman.com, J O S H S C H O E. M-A-N-N dot com. Josh Schoenman, candidate for Washington County Executive, the greatest showman, at least when it comes to going toe-to-toe with Milwaukee's man. I got to tell you, sir, that was one of the funniest things that I've seen in a while. Thank you for standing up to Washington County. And uh, just out of curiosity, what's another restaurant you would recommend besides the Cracker Barrel in Washington County? Uh, the Jailhouse Restaurant in the town of Jackson, wonderful place. Come and check it out. Uh, lots of great places, but that's one of my favorites. The Jailhouse. Okay, next time I'm up that way, I will check it out. You and I will go grab dinner, and then maybe we'll actually decide. If we can't get a table there, we'll end up going to the Cracker Barrel. Next up, let's talk with Mary Grogan, who is running for the Greendale School Board. How you doing, Mary? Happy Excuse me. Happy St. Patrick's Day month, Dan. Um, I'm doing great. It's still March, and we're both Irish. Yeah, I love it. Why not? Why not? Uh, So you are running for the Greendale School Board. You've been on the board for some time now, correct? Yes, I've been. uh, I served one term in the Sauk County, um, in Sauk County at Sauk Prairie School District. And I'm just finishing up my first term as the Greendale School Board Vice President. So I'm hoping for one more term. Just one more, or are you going to run well, into the let's future? See. I mean, politics takes a lot out of you, let me tell you. And local, all politics are local, that's for sure. So I would like to serve at least one more term in yeah. Greendale. I grew up in Greendale. My parents raised seven children in the G section. So I'm trying to give back to my community. I'm the most experienced candidate on the ballot. I'm the most qualified, and I'm also the most likely to ask your question at the school board table. And what do you think my question would be? Well, Dan, I'm sure you're never out of questions. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, uh, as far as local represent, you know, local representation, you know, local democracy, if you bring a question to me uh, by email or phone or public comment, you can count on me to raise it at the board table and on the record. And Mary, my where? Slo- oh, sorry. Go ahead, go please. Ahead. Well, my slogan is Vote Grogan. I'm the first name on the school board ballot, and I'm hoping to earn some votes today. Thank you so much for this opportunity. My slogan is Vote Grogan. I like that a lot. Where can people find your campaign online? I have a Facebook page under Mary L. Grogan, Greendale School Board. Mary L. Grogan for Greendale School Board. Best of luck to you, Mary. We do really appreciate you taking the time to join us here on Better Know a Candidate. More candidates coming up next here on the Dan O'Donnell Show. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 7 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. 
Oh, Tesla Apprentice is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there. The fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. This is Michael Lynch from the Lynch Truck Center. We've been working hard sourcing work trucks from all over the country. We currently have over 300 commercial work trucks in stock and ready for your choice of upfit. Our sales team is 100% dedicated to commercial trucks, which means our truck professionals can get you the right truck right now. Our new inventory of Chevrolet, GMC, Isuzu, Hino, not to mention our used inventory, combined with nearly 30 commercial financial lenders, ensures the lowest rates possible for you and the fastest buying experience. Our service center has over 20 dedicated truck bays running two shifts, a contact-free sales process, and delivery drivers ready to deliver your truck right to your door. We know your time is important, so we make sure our process is quick and hassle-free. Find your new truck today at lynchtruckcenter.com or stop into the Lynch Truck Center at Highway 36 in Waterford. We won't disappoint you. Get your patio summer ready with maintenance-free furniture from By the Yard with a 35-year warranty. Check out By the Yard at the Realtors Home and Garden Show. Visit their brand new showroom in Oconomowoc or shop at ByTheYard.net. If you're someone who's experiencing shoulder, spine, hip, knee, or musculoskeletal pain and a total joint replacement might be in your future, think Orthopedic Associates of Wisconsin. Their physicians specialize in same-day total joint replacements at their own ambulatory surgery center. See orthowisconsin.com. Don't let everyday aches and pains keep you from living your best life. I don't think I really understood what people meant when they talked about pain until I started feeling it myself. Start feeling better every day with Relief Factor, a daily supplement designed to support your body's fight against aches and pains. Not only do I move better without pain, I just feel better. Created by doctors, Relief Factor uses a unique formula of natural ingredients that target four metabolic pathways to address pain. Relief Factor doesn't just mask aches and pains, it helps reduce or even eliminate them. Today, I do the things I love and it doesn't occur to me to think about pain. You can feel the difference all day, every day. Join the over 1 million people who have tried Relief Factor's three-week quick start kit. It's only $19.95. Visit relieffactor.com or call 1-800-4-RELIEF. That's 1-800-4-RELIEF. And feel the difference of Relief Factor. Engagement rings, wedding bands, and big anniversary diamonds. Welcome to Kessler's. One of my favorite shows of the entire year, Better Know a Candidate, where we, well, help you better know a candidate. We are trying to get as many local candidates on as possible in these two hours. Since there are so many, I'm taking a wild guess. We will extend this into the Mark Belling Late Afternoon Show and dedicate at least an hour this afternoon to helping you get to know the people who are just like you, but decided that they were going to take this step, run for local office, and this is why I want to turn my show over to them so they can get their message out to you. We are also continuing to run the state's largest early vote drive. We are trying to bank as many votes as possible for those conservative candidates before the final vote on Tuesday. Hey, Dan, this is Brett from Sullivan. Early voted yesterday and the wife will be voting on Friday. Felt a little weird doing something I was against, but powered through. Dan voted early at the township last night, Dave and Alice. Hi, Dan. Me and my girlfriend voted yesterday after your show in front. Franklin. There were a few of us there as well. Thanks for all you do. Jeremy, I voted yesterday. New Glarus Township. That comes from Cheryl. Cheryl, thank you so much. Thank you to everyone for participating in the state's largest early vote drive. We are joined now by someone I've known for quite some time now through Republican and conservative politics. He is Devin Gatton. He is a member of the Elkhorn School Board, and he joined us now on Better Know a Candidate. How you doing, Devin? 
Hey, Dan. Thanks for having me on. Um, hey, I just want to jump on real quick. Um, so we have up over down here in Elkhorn, we have uh, five people running for three different seats, uh, three conservatives, two very far left liberals. Um, they have made it their absolute mission to not only just to make sure that I don't get on the school board uh, or get reelected on the school board, but also to make sure that they destroy my life personally. Um, so, I mean, just a little bit about myself. I focus on parental rights, making sure that parents have the keys to be able to make sure that their children have the best education possible. I am working to make sure that we keep our taxes low. That includes cutting instead of going directly to referendum. And I'm also focused on small community values, making sure that the individuals that are in our community are being heard and listened to, and we're not listening to people that are better suited to come from Madison or Milwaukee. Where can people find out more about your campaign online? All they have to do is just go to Facebook, look up my name. It's Devin Gatton, D-E-V-I-N-G-A-T-T-O-N. I have put my entire platform out there on on my Facebook page. That's one of the things that that uh, distinguishes me from my other from the other two individuals that are liberal. They have a a generic uh, cookie cutter website that they that you're able to go to and learn very generic things about where they stand. I am very specific on where I w- what I would be doing, what I would be looking at, making sure that. The in, that all of the community out here in Elkhorn is uh, truly knows exactly where I stand. So when they vote for me, whether they w- when they go to vote, whether they like me or not, they know where I stand. And I will not. You you cannot change my mind based off of just the the whims of the people that come and stand in front of me. He is Devin Gatton. He is a great person. I didn't want to get into when he said they're trying to destroy his life personally. It has gotten incredibly vicious in that campaign to the point where I'm I'm weighing in on whether or not to. I'm telling you, some of the stuff that they are saying about this man is... Uh, defamatory at best and just malicious at worst. Just trust me on this. Devin is a great, great guy. He is someone I consider to be a friend and someone who I believe will continue to do an incredible job for the Elkhorn School Board. Let's go to now Brian Fliss, who is a Town of Burlington supervisor who's running down there. Brian, welcome to Better Know a Candidate. Thanks, Dan. I appreciate you having me on. Again, my name is Brian Fliss. I'm I'm the current Town of Burlington Supervisor, uh, just uh, seeking re-election again. Um, I'm running at three key points. Uh, I'm a fiscally responsive guy or responsible guy. I'm uh, uh, transparent. Uh, you know, I run everything. You know, right in front. I communicate with our community. Uh, I'm up front. Um, I'm an advocate of the community. And uh, finally, I'm a listener. Um, I'm not just lip service. I don't talk over people. I get the points. I, I determine what's fair and what's righteous, and uh, we get her done. Um, again, Again, on April 2nd, I would appreciate the vote and the continued support of our community. I thank everybody for our overwhelming support. And uh, if you want to support the cause, uh, brianfliss.com, B-R-I-A-N, F as in Frank, L-I-S-S, like sister, sister, dot com. Again, thank you, Dan, for having us on. Well, it's certainly my pleasure, Brian. Really do appreciate it. Best of luck in your election. Let's go to Bill Brewer, who is running for the Slinger School Board. Bill, welcome to the Dan O'Donnell Show. Hey, Dan, thanks for having me this morning. I appreciate the opportunity to talk to your listeners. Uh, you know, I'm on, on doors quite a bit, and I talk to a lot of people. And when I begin to talk about the actual performance levels in Slinger, yes, we compare really, really well to the rest of the state, and, and that's worthy of recognition to a certain level. But we still have over a third of our students who are below grade level right now in either English or math or both. And I don't call that excellence. We shouldn't be comparing ourselves to the rest of the state as a standard for excellence. We should be comparing ourselves to the actual standards of what is or is not grade level. So I'm proposing that we break the status quo, like Eric Brooks was talking about earlier. We need to establish a a commission, a committee made up of administration, teachers, and parents to see how can we actually get to the root causes and raise those scores up to 80% in the next five years. I want to do that. Uh, Also, a lot of our parents in the district, as I talk to them, they feel like they they aren't able to fully express their issues or concerns um, without kind of getting shouted down by certain elements. 
So I want to open up lines of communication and have, at a minimum, quarterly listening sessions with the school board members and the public so we can hear what they're saying, preserve their rights, and understand what's most important to them. And then finally, we all know that there's a lot of cultural pressures, indoctrination, et cetera, that are eating away at the at the fabric of, of education, both public and private in some cases, we have to have somebody that's willing to stand at the door, protect our curriculum books from agendas and politics, protect our ability to focus on classical technical education, protect girls' spaces and sports and those sorts of things. So, hey, I'm just asking your listeners, vote for Bill Brewer, April 2nd, Slinger School Board. You can check out more information on Friends of Bill Brewer on Facebook. Thanks again for the time, Dan. I appreciate it. Well, the pleasure is all mine, Bill. Best of luck to you. When we come back, more candidates, more information, more Better Know a Candidate here on the Dan O'Donnell Show. Don't let the stress of buying a new car outweigh the excitement. With Car Gurus, you can buy or sell a car exactly how you want. That's why millions of people use Car Gurus. Do all the upfront work online and search their massive selection by budget, make, model, and features. Compare prices to know you got the best deal, then head in for a test drive. Take charge of your buying or selling experience today and get it with Car Gurus at C A R G U R U S dot com. That's CarGurus.com. Picture taking your first steps into your brand new home. What do you see? Whether it's cooking meals in your five-star kitchen or practicing downward dog in your sunroom, Belinsky Homes can handle it all. At Belinsky Homes, we know each lifestyle calls for unique home essentials. That's why we've been designing distinct and deliberate floor plans for over 60 years. Considering every last inch of space, we build new homes ready to adapt to your life's needs. Visit Belinsky.com today to find your right fit. Polinsky Homes, built for life. Dan here. It's this week with Annex Wealth Management. I'm joined by the president and CEO of Annex, Dave Spano. Federal Reserve keeps interest rates steady. No real surprise there. Also saying that we are still going to get interest rate cuts this year. No real surprise there. Dave, still two to three cuts starting in June. Yeah, I think that you're going to hear Chairman Powell. You know, they talk about birds when they talk about the Federal Reserve, hawks, doves, and perhaps even a chicken. And that's what we're going to probably hear in June is, do we kick that can down the road and start to see cuts in June? That is what they're starting to signal. The reason why I think it's important is because savers finally have an opportunity to earn some money. And we talk about going to the bank and earning 5% on a CD or in a money market. Those rates will not be around forever, Dan. And so people should start thinking about what they're going to do. Should they lock in longer rates and perhaps CDs, perhaps buy some bonds? Because we all know that when interest rates go down, bond prices go up. These are the things to think about. But there will be a move before the election. I think that's pretty obvious that we're going to hear that. But one final point I want to make, people hear about inflation starting to slow down. They have to remember that inflation is the rate of change. That doesn't mean that the price of gas is going down or the price of a gallon of milk is going down. It just means that the prices are not going up as fast as they were. If inflation comes down to 2 or 3%, you've got to know how that works in your portfolio, and there's a way to find out. Well, that's sort of the thing in that we don't quite know what interest rates are going to do. We don't understand exactly what the Fed is going to do. We just need to be able to be best positioned and best prepared for whatever might happen. And that's why you need to talk to somebody who is working with and for you. Get a free wealth metric at AnnexWealth.com. For Dave Spano, President and CEO of Annex, I'm Dan O'Donnell. This has been This Week with Annex Wealth Management. I'm Brett Ochtenhagen, owner of Brett Ochtenhagen Seasonal Services. Most people know us as a trusted landscape contractor, but did you know that we've been crafting decorative concrete and masonry features for almost 30 years? All concrete is not the same. Do you know what to ask for when planning a landscape project that includes concrete? For example, there are many types of concrete mixes available, and if you don't request a premium mix, you'll likely get a bargain mix, and a driveway or patio made with a bargain mix is not a bargain at all. We use only premium concrete mixes from trusted producers, and our decorative concrete and masonry features are crafted by our own artisans, not subcontractors. There's so much to consider when preparing for your landscaping project. Brett Ochtenhagen Seasonal Services has been serving southeastern Wisconsin since 1994. We are an established, trusted landscape contractor. 
please call 262-392-3444 or look for us online at seasonalservices.com. Hi, it's John Reitz from Great Midwest Bank. And you know, there's more to being a local Wisconsin bank than perfectly pronouncing Oconomowoc or Waukesha. Or is it Waukesha? But rest assured, at Great Midwest Bank, we understand the local community and economy because we're a part of it. At GMB, we provide customized lending products that others just can't offer. Experience a hometown banking difference. Head to GreatMidwestBank.com. Great Midwest Bank, your simply local equal housing lender. You can live out your MasterChef dreams. When you find a professional on Angie to tackle your dream kitchen remodel. Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Inside to outside. Repairs to renovations. Get started on the Angie app or visit Angie.com today. You can do this when you Angie that. So when you have a hot housing market, why would you pay 6%? I understand some of you might have challenging properties, houses in need of major repair, perhaps even a lot or location that just isn't all that great. Maybe you do need to pay 6%. This is Bob Tarantino from Redefined Realty. Our 3.99% commission plan is perfect for every house ranging from pretty much normal to absolutely stunning. Visit RedefinedRealty.com and save thousands on your next sale. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit. 800-522-5700. Welcome back to the Dan O'Donnell Show, home of the state's largest early vote drive. This is Jim W. I just voted in New Berlin, quick and easy. Hi, Dan. Voted in the city of Kenosha yesterday. Pretty busy early voting. Go Republicans. Dan, I took my father to early vote yesterday in Menominee Falls. I am proud of him. He is going to be 94 years old next month. He is also an Army Korean War vet. My wife and I also voted. That is fantastic. Dan, my wife and I voted yesterday in Oak Creek. Regards from Ron and Kathy. We voted yesterday in Waukesha. Keep up the great work, Mark and Arlene. Thank you all so much for taking part in the state's largest early vote drive. We go back to the phones on Better Know a Candidate and talk with Jessica Lynott, who is uh, running for Racine County Judge. Jessica, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, as you mentioned, my name is Jessica Lynott. I'm running for Racine County Circuit Court Judge Branch 3 against the Tony Evers appointee. As a prosecutor in Racine County, I have the experience to be ready on day one. Protecting the public is a priority, especially in these times of rising crime and drug overdoses. I will hold people accountable for their actions with tough consequences. I also support cash bonds when appropriate. I will bring common sense to the bench. That means following the law and not advancing personal agendas. I am honored to have the support of the Racine County DA, Patricia Hansen, the County Executive, Jonathan Delagrave, the County Sheriff, Christopher Schmeling, and many more in law enforcement and community leadership. They know what Racine County needs more than Tony Evers. On April 2nd, I'm the best choice to keep Racine County safe. Thank you. You are the only conservative in this race, Jessica Lynott, running for Racine County Judge. How can people find out more about your campaign? They can go to jessicalynott.com or find me on Facebook as well. And uh, Lynott is spelled L-Y-N-O-T-T, -T, correct? That is correct. com. Look for her on Facebook. Jessica Lynott. We now go to Watertown, where we talk with Sam Awaniel, who is running for the school board there. Hi. Thanks for having me on, Dan. Well, the pleasure is all mine, sir. 
Okay, yeah. Uh, so, like you said, I'm running for Watertown School Board, and the reason I'm running is because over the past few years, I've seen a total erosion across the United States of parental rights, especially the right for parents to make the final decision about what kind of material their children are exposed to. Um, I think it's completely unreasonable, and quite frankly, uh, besides one other candidate in Watertown, Dan Voltner, who I'm running alongside, uh, the other candidates are totally radical. One of them is a self-proclaimed DEI expert. Another <laughs> one of them uh, is a member of an activist group, and she uh, she promotes children going behind their parents' back and using anonymous sex chat apps oh, on boy. Trevor's space. It's unbelievable. And you know what has really shocked me as I've been running because uh, you know I've, I've I really want to represent everyone in the community is the amount of vitriol that I've received uh, just in a small town race like this. Yeah. Uh, even from my own newspaper, Watertown Daily Times, they've uh, they've consistently run uh, numerous editorials slandering me, calling me a Christian nationalist, or um, implying that I'm a racist, all sorts of ridiculous things. And then uh, giving when I was given an opportunity to run a candidate profile, they told me it was a 400-word max, cut my profile off mid-sentence, and they gave three times as much space to my opponents. So incredibly, incredibly partisan, <laughs> and it's very upsetting to me. Um, but again, that's because I'm running as an actual representative of parents and parental rights, whereas the other people running are running for political activism purposes. Yeah. And I just think it's very... Very disturbing. Um, so anyone who lives in Watertown or knows anyone who lives in Watertown, they should know that Dan Volter and Sam Alleniel are the people they should vote for on that school board. And A, because I had to ask you while we were off the air, how do you spell your last name? Where can people find you online? For sure. So the last name, and I'll go slow, it's spelled O U W E N E. E L, and then you can look up my name, Sam Alleniel, for school board W U S D on Facebook. I have lots more information there, um, and I appreciate you having me on today, Dan. Thank well, you. Well, the pleasure is all mine, Sam. Best of luck to you. Let's go to McGuanago, where we have got Darlene Johnson, loyal listener. Excuse me, Darlene. Hi. Uh, sort of botched your intro there. Let's try this again. <clears throat> got to clear the throat. <clears> throat. Hold on. Hold on. Village of McGuanago trustee and loyal listener Darlene Johnson, welcome to Better Know a Candidate. Thank you, Dan. Yes, I am Darlene Johnson running for re-election for both Village of McGuanago trustee and Waukesha County 25th District Supervisor. I stand for conservative values, fiscal responsibility, responsiveness and attentiveness to my constituents' needs and concerns. If you live in the village of McGuanago, you can legally vote for me twice. And then at last night's Waukesha County board meeting, mm -hmm. at, during supervisor announcements, I told the Waukesha County supervisors if they want to pitch why they should be reelected, they should call your show today. So just letting you know that. If well, that's awesome. Record. Thank you. Thank you for getting that. So just so we're clear here, when you say they can vote for you twice for two separate offices, yeah. uh, not, yeah. I mean, as much as I'm sure you'd love people to pull a Chicago Democrat and vote for you multiple times, whether they're living or dead, uh, this is rather unique. Uh, you're running yeah. for, you're on the ballot in two different races. Yes. Yes. And um, my website, if yeah. anyone is interested, is DarleneMJohnson.com. DarleneMJohnson.com. Best of luck to you in both of your races, Darlene. Let's talk now with Jeff Voyer. At, uh, he's running for the Germantown School Board. Did I get the pronunciation of your last name correct, Jeff? Yes, it is. Thanks, Dan. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, you are running for Germantown School Board. Yes, I am. Seat number one. And why? So I told my wife this, and I know it sounds to the contrary, but when my oldest daughter was born and we got things settled in our first home, I said, as soon as she's in kindergarten, I'm running for school board. I want to make a change, and she will be attending kindergarten soon. She is enrolled, and here I am. That's awesome. So you're literally doing it for your daughter. That's my driving force, my two daughters. So my youngest is two, my oldest is five. That is the entire driving force behind this campaign. That is fantastic. And, and what, what are some of your basic platform points? Like, what do you want to do? I really yeah, I, I run it off of three main pillars. Number one is transparency to parents. Parents are the first educators. 
I don't want to overburden our taxpayers, and I want to keep lewd material away from our children. I took a firm stance against critical race theory, and I am against DEI and all social agenda programs. That is fantastic, Jeff. Where can people find out more about your campaign? Sure. So my Facebook, it's Jeff Boyer for Germantown School Board Seat 1, and my website, www.votejeffboyer.com. And Voyer is spelled V O Y E. R V O Y E R. Jeff, thank you so much. Best of luck to you. Let's go now to great friend of the program, no stranger to better know a candidate, Kelly Piasek, who is a Waukesha School Board member. She is the Waukesha School Board president, and she is running for another term. Welcome to the program, Dr. Piasek. Good morning, Dan. Thank you for having me. Thank you for doing this show. It's so great to hear from all of these candidates. I know. I love doing it. I, I, I just I so thoroughly enjoy it. I, I feel like this is what, you know, uh, community radio should be. You know, we're, we, we are privileged to be able to do what we do. And I think our highest and best function is promoting the local leaders and promoting the local causes, really being active in the community. As much as we talk about national and state politics, Tip O'Neill was right. All politics is Local. So you are running for another term on the Waukesha School Board, along with a couple of other great candidates, including my good friend Eric Brooks, who we heard earlier in the program. What is your platform for those who don't remember? We have been focused on, um, since, since my first term when I ran in 2021, just getting to that learning recovery. And when we were talking about learning recovery with COVID, what we really uncovered was that we need learning recovery all along, right? What, what Eric Brooks and um, others have done with Act 20 and really um, driving forward the, the work of phonics and, and better um, reading and math. And what we discovered in the district is there, there wasn't um, evidence-based structured curriculum. So learning recovery across the board with really high quality curriculum and then parental rights. I became president of the board in 2022. In January of 23, we um, approved our parental rights resolution, which seemed like just reasonable to us. Um, it's been the source of quite a bit of controversy, which is always um, interesting to me. I don't know why being transparent and letting parents know what's going on with their kids at school is so controversial, but um, that has been a very important um, part of my term and I think our board's focus. And um, those two pieces together are really trying to wrap all the resources that we have around the students. We've been fiscally responsible on top of it. That should be an expectation of conservative school board members, but um, really focusing on high-quality education and making sure the classrooms are places to learn, um, not where we've got tons of indoctrination and other ideologies and flags and signs and banners and things popping up that really don't have anything to do with the curriculum. Where can people find more about your campaign, Kelly? I have a website. It's um, www.piasek4sdw. That's P-I-A-C-S-E-K, the number 4, S-D-W, dot com. And I also have a Facebook page under the same label. Well, best of luck in your run, along with the other two conservatives you're running with. Kelly, thank you so much. We will be back on Better Know a Candidate in just a second. We'll get to a couple of more candidates, an update on the state's largest early vote drive, and much more. Conservative thought, not just talk. You're listening to The Dan O'Donnell Show. Ideally, childhood is a joyous and carefree season of life, but many children experience loss through death, divorce, addiction, and more. Healing Hearts of Southeastern Wisconsin is a community-based organization devoted to serving grieving children and their families. Trained volunteers provide peer-to-peer grief support, helping kids and their families grieve at their own level. And you can help make a difference. To volunteer or to donate, go to HealingHeartsWisconsin.org. A message in the public interest from News Talk 1130 WISN. When the centurion who stood facing him saw how he breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. Hello, this is Archbishop Lestecki. Imagine how much God loved us to die for us. But he would not allow his son to be forgotten in the tomb. Instead, God the Father's love raised him up and offered hope to all of us who believe in him. The Eucharist is the sacrificial act which joins us to his love. A blessed Easter to all. 
Join us at Mass. Here's another remarkable success story from QC Kinetics. This one from Chad, who hurt his knee at the gym one day, and it just kept on hurting for months. From my high school football and wrestling days, I already had a little bit of damage in there, but this just sent it over the edge. Chad tried traditional treatments with no improvement. When he turned to the non-surgical regenerative treatments at QC Kinetics. It was really fascinating how they did their work, and the science behind it was very intriguing, and it works. Extracting the cure out of my own body blew my mind. It's like I'm brand new again. It was fantastic. That's because the QC Kinetics natural biologic treatments use your body's own healing power to restore damaged tissue in your hips, shoulders, back, and knees, providing long-lasting relief. Now I'm back at the gym. I'm 100% feeling great. If you're tired of suffering with pain from arthritis or injury, call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. Call QC Kinetics, 414-285-3474. That's 414-285-3474. 414-285-3474. Traffic jams, tailgating, pileups. Ugh, the joys of driving. How could it get worse? The federal government wants to have a say in what you drive. That's right. The Biden administration's EPA is pushing mandates that would ban two out of every three vehicles on the road today. Don't let Washington become your backseat driver. Protect the freedom of driving your way. Visit energycitizens.org. Paid for by the American Petroleum Institute. Abby with Abby Windows here. If I had a dollar for every time customers said, all windows look the same, just give me a price. Well, if that's the case, then you haven't seen ours yet. You're right. Most windows have welds that are ugly, jagged, and look all stitched up, similar to wearing your shirt inside out. I call them Frankenstein windows. If you want a clean, seamless miter that's not inside out, enter our fine line weld technology. Trust me, you'll believe it once you see it. For the best looking window on the market, call Abby Windows today. And if somebody asks you if you know a guy in the business, you can say no, but I know a girl. In this seller's market, even homeowners are trying to sell their own home. But more times than not, it doesn't work out like they'd hoped. And while homes like theirs are selling, and selling fast for over asking prices, their homes aren't. So what's your next best strategy? Well, if you're looking to relieve yourself of the stress of selling your own home and still get top dollar while getting the full service benefits that an experienced realtor can give you, then look no further. I'm Angela Calais with Benefit Realty, where 3.5 to 3.9% commission assures that you pay less for full service. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit. 800-522-5700. 800-522-5700. Semper Fi Roofing and Exteriors, where reputation matters and character counts. Veteran-owned and operated, go to SemperFiRoofing.com. We keep you safe, warm, and dry, Semper Fi. Be sure to listen to the Annex Wealth Management Investment Show, Saturday mornings at 11 and Sunday afternoons at 1 on News Talk 1130 WISN. Annex provides its expertise to arm listeners with the knowledge and tools to invest wisely. Annex Wealth Management. Know the difference. Hi, my name is Joseph Hastrader, owner of EWH University. Listen in every Sunday at 11 a.m. on WISM and let me show you better strategies for increasing sales and generating more business. Both grateful and humble for the unwavering support of our listeners. It's because of you that this is Wisconsin's most listened to radio station. News Talk 1130 WISN. Classical conservatism, contemporary style. It is the Dan O'Donnell Show. Welcome back to it. It's a special edition of the program today. Better know a candidate. Less than a week until the final vote in the spring election, we are trying to get as many local candidates on as possible, including Anne Angeli, who's running for Arrowhead School Board. Anne, welcome to Better Know a Candidate. 
Good morning, Dan. Thank you so much for this amazing opportunity. I'm not exactly sure how I could possibly follow up after Kelly Piasek, but I am going to give it a try. She's an amazing rock star. (laughs) She is. And she really did inspire a whole lot of people to get active because she was just a mom who saw what was going on in the Waukesha School District and wanted to do something about it. And I suspect a whole lot of other moms in South East Wisconsin saw that and said, you know what, we can get involved too. So, Anne, you are running for Arrowhead yep. School Board. What is your platform? Yes, that's basically it. Well, um, uh, that's pretty much my story as well. Uh, I really ha- did not see running for uh, the school board on my horizon at all. However, my opponent has uh, been sitting in that seat very comfortably, I might add, for 19 years. And I think uh, that's quite long enough. Um, I am proud to say that I have been vetted by the Republican Party of Waukesha County's With Red Initiative. Um, My opponent, on the other hand, hopes that if he prints the word conservative enough in big letters on the mailers that he sends out to his constituents and actually says the word enough, that um, we will all forget about his far left voting record over the past 19 years. Um, For example, he has voted um, against uh, the procedures for handling um, student name changes and pronoun usage, uh, as well as policy regarding school displays and postings. Um, And um, I would have um, voted for those policies. Um, And everything that I have seen with uh, his voting record, the common denominator here is to completely leave the parents or adults who are responsible for our students out of the educational equation. And I do not think that that is the right approach, just like uh, pretty much everyone who has been on your program so far. I believe uh, parental involvement is uh, key to student success. Um, uh, the other uh, issues, I want to get back to basics instead of agendas in our educational system. And where can people find out more about your campaign? At, absolutely. On Facebook, I am Ann, A-N-N-E, for Arrowhead School Board, or uh, I have a website, www.anne, the number four, A-U-H-S, dot com. And Anjali running for the Arrowhead School Board, the WIS Red endorsed candidate. Best of luck to you, Anne. We continue to run the state's largest early vote drive here on the Dan O'Donnell Show. When you vote, Make sure that you give us a text, you let us know that you did, and then you get other people to the polls to vote early as well. Hey, Bill and Kiwaskum and I voted yesterday. The four people in front of me all mentioned your name as to why they were voting early. Bill, thank you so much for letting me know. And thank you to all the people in Kiwaskum and all across our listening area who are hearing me explain why exactly early voting is so important and more importantly that they're taking matters into their own hands taking back this state by voting early my wife and i mailed in our votes a week and a half ago in brown county village of howard next door to new zuckerberg aka title town that from terry r hey dan love the show voted in west Dallas this morning everyone vote yes on the two constitutional questions go m you hey dan steve wickland village president of union grove i voted early and hubby and i early voted in waukesha yesterday he was so inspired he signed up to work at the polling place on tuesday that is what i love to hear better know a candidate continues after the top of the hour news next News that-
that's factual, fair, and balanced. This is continuing coverage on News Talk 1130 WISN. Milwaukee. Good morning, I'm Ted Aylin. The Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office said yesterday that Jolene Waldorf died of hypertension and heart disease. The 49-year-old Waldorf had an emergency and died January 15th. That was after she slipped and fell at a bus stop on Milwaukee's northwest side in sub-zero temperatures. Waldorf had to call 911 to report she couldn't breathe, but her emergency was mistakenly given a low-priority response and an ambulance crew failed to spot her. Her death has led to new protocols for locating patients for Milwaukee's fire department and ambulance service providers. Donald Trump will be in Wisconsin on Election Day. The former president is scheduled to deliver remarks at the Green Bay Hyatt Regency three hours before polls close statewide for voting in Tuesday's election. That includes Wisconsin's presidential primary. Trump and President Biden have already secured nominations for their respective parties. Trump last visited Wisconsin in an August 2022 rally for Republican gubernatorial candidate Tim Michaels in Waukesha. The Coast Guard suspended its search and rescue efforts for the six individuals still missing after the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. The incident happened after a container ship lost power early yesterday morning and crashed into the bridge, sending people and vehicles into the frigid river below the bridge. The six missing people are believed to have been part of a construction crew repairing potholes on the bridge. Checking the WISN sports scoreboard after falling in two overtimes to the Lakers last night, the Bucks next face the Pelicans tomorrow night in New Orleans. From the Orthopedic Associates of Wisconsin News Center, I'm Ted Aylin on Wisconsin's most listened to radio station, News Talk 1130 WISN. Hey, Dan O'Donnell here for the Lynch family of dealerships. I've been a big proponent of Lynch for a while now. Here's why. They're literally a family dealership and have been since 1957. That's increasingly rare in the dealership world today, but the Lynch family employs 500 plus people who are all dedicated to taking care of you. They've got a wide selection of new and used vehicles, extended service department hours for early drop-offs and late pickups, and most importantly, they're proud supporters of our local communities and schools. They also stand behind what they sell with Lynch certified used vehicles, including a 168 point inspection to determine eligibility, an unparalleled 90 day or 3000 mile certified guarantee and a 10 day 500 mile exchange policy. And when you pair this with the Lynch protected program, they cover your paint, your windshield and your tires. It's easy to see why you should consider Lynch. Check them out today at Shop Lynch. Dot com. Here's the latest forecast from the Fox 6 weather experts. We cool down today, but the sun returns. We should see afternoon temperatures in the upper 30s to near 40, feeling cooler with a bit of a breeze. Overnight tonight, we'll drop into the mid-20s, and from there, up into the mid to upper 40s for Thursday. I'm Fox 6 Chief Meteorologist Rob Haswell. This report is sponsored by Jackson Hewitt. It matters who does your taxes. Why are people saying, Hugh, yeah, to Jackson Hewitt? When you switch to Jackson Hewitt, they will beat what you paid last year on tax prep, even if you filed online. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Join News Talk 1130 this Saturday at 4 p.m. for The Word on Medicine, the show that brings you the latest medical innovations and discoveries by physicians and scientists at the Medical College of Wisconsin. That's Saturday afternoon at 4 on News Talk 1130. WISA. Buy a furnace and get a free air conditioner. Buy a furnace and get a free air conditioner. In honor of our 95 years in business, the Thielman Group Heating and Cooling has brought back our most popular deal ever. Until March 31st, you can receive a free air conditioner with the purchase of any Lennox furnace. Don't forget to ask about rebates, tax incentives, our best-in-class warranties, and no interest financing. You can find us at thielmangroup.com. That's Thielman with two N's, group.com. We don't do things the easy way. We do them the Thielman way. Hi, I'm Nick from Metro Milwaukee Homebuyer, and we'll buy your home as is in cash in as little as one week. You heard that right, as is in one week. We're a local family business that pays cash for properties as is. Just visit MetroMilwaukeeHomeBuyer.com to learn more. Whether you want to showcase your entry, seal a draft, let light in, or provide ventilation, storm doors can add real value to your home. 
And if you're in need of a new storm door, buying from the nation's largest independent retailer of Pella and Larson storm doors isn't a bad idea. This is David Wilhelm, and names like Pella and Larson are head of the class when it comes to storm door choices. And having the area's largest assortment of residential Pella and Larson storm doors on display makes a trip to 51st and Lisbon well worth your while. And it's not just the variety of styles that will impress you, it's also the unbelievable range of color choices that you have here. Now for those of you who own older homes, you won't find a better selection of wooden storm doors to match period styles, including round tops, than you'll find here at Lisbon Storm Screen and Door. So it shouldn't be hard to see that when it comes to Pella and Larson storm doors, your clear choice for more is Lisbon Storm Screen and Door. Your clear choice for more, Lisbon Storm Screen and Door. Find us at LisbonStorm.com. Are you a victim of the Timeshare Trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit. 800-522-5700. 800-522-5700. Today's Dan O'Donnell program is brought to you by Great Midwest Bank. Whether you're ready to buy, build, or renovate, Great Midwest Bank takes the stress out of paying for it. Get started today at greatmidwestbank.com. Be sure to listen to the Annex Wealth Management Investment Show Saturday mornings at 11 and Sunday afternoons at 1 on News Talk 1130 WISN. Annex provides its expertise to arm listeners with the knowledge and tools to invest wisely. Annex Wealth Management. Know the difference. The Wisconsin men's hockey team has received a bid to the NCAA tournament and will face defending national champion Quinnipiac in the opening round Friday in Providence, Rhode Island. This is Brian Posick. I'll be there for all the play-by-play action at 4.30 on 97.3 The Game in the iHeartRadio app. show normally you hear me today we hear you at least those of you who have decided that you're going to take a stand you raised your hands you said i am going to run for local office and today i turn the program over to you it's better know a candidate as we are now just six days away from the spring election early voting has been going on for some time now and i've had a number of people ask dan why are you doing this now why are you uh, why didn't you do this before early voting? Well, I do have a basic belief that people who are going out to early vote are doing research on the candidates themselves. I try to inform as best I can. However, I don't put out voting guides. I will. Uh, I don't endorse candidates. I, I don't do that sort of thing. If you are voting. It is incumbent on you to learn as much as you can about the candidates. I can help you as much as I can, but understand that the overwhelming majority of voters still vote either on Election Day or in the last couple of days of early voting, which is why we have seen a dramatic uptick as we run the state's largest early vote drive. Also... Early voting is very easy to those who say, well, Dan, you're telling us to early vote, but you don't tell us how. Well, you have to look in your local community where the early voting location is. Usually it's at the clerk's office. Sometimes it's in an alternate location. If you live in a big city like Milwaukee, there are often multiple locations where you can early vote. Again, a lot of the onus is on you, the individual, to learn to uh, get better informed, to become a member of the informed electorate. I will do my part, but this is why we're doing it today, because I don't want people to forget about the candidates' messages weeks before they're ever going to go to the polls. I want as many people early voting as possible, but I recognize human nature being what it is, procrastination being incredibly tempting. Most people are going to go out and vote after the show today or tomorrow or Friday uh, or possibly wait until Tuesday to vote in person 
on the day of the election. So here's how this works. We are turning over the show for the remainder of it to you, the candidates. You will hear from candidates for a school board, for village board, for local offices all across our listening area. Candidates, give us a call, 414-799-1130. That's our adventnose.com talk and text line. You can reach us toll free as well, 1-800-838-9476. As you can imagine, this is very popular, so our phone lines are very busy. You might not necessarily get on. If you don't, shoot us a text, shoot us an email at dod at iheartmedia.com. We'll try our best to read some of the candidate statements as they come in to us as well. So without any further ado, let's get right back to the candidates and talk with Mike Villaggio, who is running for the Racine School Board. How you doing, Mike? Hey, going all right. Um, thanks for the time, man. Um, yeah, basically, you know, I'm not a candidate by any means. You know, I'm just a dad. I got two students that are over in the district, and I am not happy with what I'm seeing. So I'm running for District 8 over at RUSD uh, Racine um, against the... Uh, actually the lady I'm running against is actually just appointed to the position so um, she basically su subscribes to all the narratives that uh, we are against and you know I'm basically just ticked off I want to see some change within the schools so um, both my boys they got IEPs you know I go over in the, my youngest this homeroom class and basically all I see in there is all the flags of every sexuality there's yeah, not boy. a single American flag to be seen and uh this really ticks me off. So it's like, you know, like all the other candidates running for school board, you know, I share the same feelings. I want to, you know, we're the third worst district over in the state. So I really want to see some change. I want to see, you know, we're one of the biggest districts. We got a lot of money going through the school, yet it's never enough. They always want more money, but then they dish out money for everything except education. So, Mike, you are exactly uh, the type of candidate I was hoping we would get to call on the program today. Because you were just ticked off enough to say, you know what, I could do a better job than these clowns. It, it takes a lot. It takes some, you know, stones to do what you did. I'm sure you found that politics, even at the local level, is a hard business. It requires a lot of hard work. It requires incredibly thick skin because you will hear some really, really bad stuff about you. Uh, but I really do oh, appreciate yeah. you uh, volunteering to do this. Where can people find out more about your campaign? I'm basically, I just have a Facebook page, so just uh, search Mike Bellagio, uh, just like the casino. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm just an Army veteran. So the second they announced my, you know, run, yeah, I started getting attacked from the very beginning. So, you know, I kind of expected it, but, you know, I got thick skin. So I'm an Army veteran, and, you know, bring it on. That's all I have to say. All I care about is my kids and, you know, the rest of the kids in the district, and I really want to see change. They deserve a better education. That's fantastic, Mike. Best of luck to you. Let's go to Steve Steza, who is running for the Waukesha County Board. How you doing, Steve? I'm doing all right, Dan. It's Steza. Steza, I apologize. No worries. No worries. Well, Dan, I'm doing this actually for my fiance. My fiance is an immigrant, and I made a promise to her that she's leaving the place, and she's coming to a better place. So I'm putting my money where my mouth is and taking my applicable skills from my real estate world. I'm an industrial real estate broker by trade, and I serve on the board of directors at my sportsman's club. And I thought that this would be an interesting opportunity to have horizontal skills. So I want to leave the county in a better place for not only our kids, the future generation of the first generation immigrants or Americans rather and for our grandchildren and I want to keep Waukesha County a leader in efficient government where can people find out more about your campaign Steve Stiza for Waukesha County dot com or you can search and find me on Facebook Stiza for Waukesha County that is S-T-Y-Z-A do I have that right that's correct. Yeah. All right. Well, at least I can spell your name, even if I can't pronounce it. Steve Steiza, best of luck to you. Thank you so much for calling up. Let's go now to Heather Barry, who is running for the Hartford Union School Board. Do I have that right, Heather? That is correct. Thank you, Dan. Uh, my passion for education, my commitment to advocate for the student body is where I am running. Uh, three three basic uh, words and a math equation to remember is that academic performance plus collaboration equals success. 
I think every student could be a success story. When we teach to their, stu- to, the, to their strength, help them overcome their weaknesses with a can-do attitude. Same as a caller before, I've had children in my own family who've had an IEP, and it is challenging to work through the weaknesses when we don't teach to the strengths. Improving collaboration. I think teachers, students, and parents all have a piece, of, have a stake in this. The better that collaboration and the willingness for each area to take accountability, it will lead to a student's success. And I think academic performance. We need to get those reading scores up and the math proficiency. Uh, one plus one equals two. It does not equal three. It's not okay to say it equals three. And when they're not performing at their grade level, uh, it just snowballs. It continuously snowballs, even into college. So um, I am co-campaigning with another uh, gentleman, Nolan Jacket, who shares the same values and priorities as I do. So we'd appreciate uh, your votes. There's two seats open, Nolan Jacket and Heather Berry. And remember the math equation, academic performance plus collaboration will equal success. Well, best of and luck you can to... find out more. Oh, yeah, please go ahead. go ahead. Well, you can find out more for all the candidates at huhs.org. They've done a great job of uh, promoting all the candidates and uh, greatly appreciated. Um, so uh, just vote on the second. Um, the rubber meets the road April 3rd if we both get a seat. So we're, we're accountable and we're ready to roll up our sleeves and get the work done. And that website again, huh.org? Uh, huhs.org huhs.org thank you so much really do appreciate it heather let's go now to tony reese who is running for genesee town supervisor how you doing tony i'm doing fine sir and why are you running well i'd like to see term limits uh, I think it's sad that when uh, things don't change by board members that have been on the board serving for many, many years, it's time for a change. Uh, also, I want full transparency, and that includes before, during, and after. I'd like to see our, our roads uh, taken care of. They're falling apart, and I would like to see the board uh, be more uh, fiscal responsible. And uh, that's why I'm running. Because those are the things, in my opinion, that are lacking. Well, thank you so much, sir. Is there a place online people could find you? Sure. They can find me at Tony for Genesee. That's with the number four uh, dot com, or they can follow me on Facebook, Tony for Genesee. Well, thank you so much, Tony. Really appreciate you calling. Let's go now to Jennifer Grant, who is running for the Menominee Falls School Board. Jennifer, welcome to Better Know a Candidate. Well, hi, Dan. Uh, Thank you for the opportunity. Yes, um, my name is Jennifer Grant, and I'm actually running for re-election to the Menominee Falls. Oh, that's right. I apologize. You are a current member, aren't you? I am. I am. Um, I am uh, actually the board treasurer and also the chairperson of the finance and the personnel committees. So finishing my first successful uh, three-year term, um, I am a Menominee Falls graduate myself, uh, like you, Dan. I'm still living... uh, Back in the town where I grew up in, um, I'm a lifelong resident, and um, I support fiscal responsibility and long-term financial planning. I, I Again, I'm a certified public accountant, so certainly that's my area of expertise. Um, our district is financially sound. Um, this past year, we've added teachers in the classroom. The upcoming year, we plan to add more teachers, and we are doing it with our current uh, you know, tax base and our bu- with sound budgeting. We are not in need of any kind of reference in the near future. So I'm proud to say that. Um, Certainly, um, I uh, support student achievement and high academic rigor. We don't want uh, want or need uh, agendas in the classroom. I support parent involvement, common sense and decency in our libraries and our classroom materials. Um, if you'll give me just another moment, um, we do have another candidate running. He's a first-time candidate, but uh, certainly going to be a great board member. Um, he also is a Menominee Falls uh, graduate. His name is Travis Langer. Um, he's He uh, is a Marine Corps veteran and a small business owner, and we are up against two well-funded uh, Democrat Party um, 
opponents. We've already seen their finance campaign finance reports. Almost twenty thousand um, dollars by the Democratic Party of Wisconsin has been poured into our district, and so um, certainly turnout from conservatives and Republicans is going to be very important in Menominee Falls. And uh, really, we need every vote that we can get. So, thank you for this opportunity. Well, the pleasure is all mine. Jennifer, let's go now to Tom Barney, who is uh, running for the Germantown School Board. How you doing, Tom? Yeah, good morning, Dan. Thanks for the time. Yeah, I'm Tom Barney running for re-election to seat number seven of the Germantown School Board. Priorities this year, transparency, school safety, community partnerships, increasing our fund balance, and parental rights. To drill into a couple of those, we had an after-hour shooting at our middle school this past October, so we yeah. can never say that something like that won't happen in our town. So safety needs to be a priority every year. Um, I want to expand our local partnerships or partnerships with local businesses because I realize not every student is going to college, and if they're not, we need to have them ready for a career. We do that by connecting with local manufacturers to find out what they need from their new employees, and then we try to get those things into our curriculum. And finally, we need to keep more of our own money rather than losing it to interest expense on short-term borrowing. Since 2020, we have reduced short-term borrowing from $17 million to under $4 million, saving tens of thousands of dollars and allowing us to put that money back into our programming. And where can people find out more about your campaign, Tom? Uh, my website is votetombarney.com. And that will also give them a link out to my Facebook page. VoteTomBarney.com, B-A-R-N-E-Y. Barney, I am Dan O'Donnell. This is Better Know a Candidate. We will be right back to it with more candidates and another update on the state's largest early vote drive next. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 7 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otesla of Prenolast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there. The fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Dan O'Donnell here for my great friends at Mander Collision and Glass, now with six locations to serve you. You hear me talking often about Mander's customer service. Well, here's one of their customers, Haley, who writes, I had a small chip in my windshield. I called and came in right away to see if it could be fixed. Mander had a glass technician in the building that day, and within 20 minutes of arriving, my chip was filled. Very friendly staff and great customer service. My husband and I have used Mander for a few needs with our vehicles, and we will continue to go to them. Thank you so much for sharing your story, Haley. Your loyalty is a reflection of Mander's extreme dedication to customer service. They'll go the extra mile as a matter of policy, and that is why I tell so many people to go to Mander. Now with six locations to serve you, Mander truly is your best decision after a collision or for windshield repair. Stock up and say big on everyday essentials now at Menards. We have it all from big to small and everything in between. Keep your devices powered with Energizer Max batteries. They deliver consistent performance and can hold power for up to 10 years while in storage. Energizer Max batteries are on sale now through March 31st. And don't forget to check out our flyer on Menards.com for all the other great deals happening now. Save big money at Menards. If we've learned anything from the headlines, it's that unexpected things happen too often. Those in charge say everything's fine. Stop noticing. But you know better. And your gut knows that time is short to prepare for what's around the corner next. My Patriot Supply has helped over 2 million families become more self-reliant and is the company Americans trust to prepare. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com and secure their best-selling three-month emergency food kits. Each contains tasty breakfasts, lunches, and dinners, averaging over 2,000 calories per day. Get at least one food kit for each family member. For a limited time, save $200 plus get free 
free shipping on all their Ready Hour 3-month emergency food kits. You're not ready if it's not Ready Hour Foods. At My Patriot Supply, you can also get solar power generators, water filtration units, emergency medical supplies, and heirloom seeds. Shop MyPatriotSupply.com today. MyPatriotSupply.com a better know a candidate here on the dan o'donnell show i am dan we are talking with all manner of candidates from all across our listening area who are running in the spring election early voting is underway we continue the state's largest early vote drive and the final vote is this Tuesday. Less than a week away until the spring election. A reminder, President Trump is going to be in Green Bay. It's also Brewers opening day. So a lot of people in our listening area are probably going to be going to that. Be sure you vote before you head out to the ballpark because you just never know how long you are going to B. Let's go to Nolan Jacket running for the Hartford Union School Board. Hey, Dan. How you doing, sir? I'm great. So my name is Nolan Jacket. I'm running for the school board at Hartford Union High School. You just heard from Heather Berry. Me and her are running as a team together for two open seats on there. I'm a conservative. I want to get there to encourage more representation for students, staff, and parents, which as a student who graduated from that high school, I felt was lacking. I'm a younger candidate. I'm really trying to get out there and encourage younger people to be more involved in this kind of stuff, to run for office, to be involved in civics. And so I would like to bring a younger perspective to the board. Me and her have been out there hitting over 3,000 houses with our flyers and door knocking and really putting in the effort. We're encouraging trust and transparency in this position, and we hope to bring that to the uh, high school board there coming up on April 2nd. And where can people find out more about your campaign, sir? On Facebook for, at Nolan Jacket for HUHS School Board and on Instagram at Nolan Jacket. You can find out a lot more about me. That is awesome, sir. Really do appreciate you coming on. Joining us now is a candidate for the Milwaukee Common Council in District 11, Joshua Zepnik, the former state representative. Josh, welcome to Better Know a Candidate. How are you doing? Hey, good morning. Thanks for having me on, Dan. I appreciate this. a good public service that you guys are doing here. Um, I uh, represented part of District 11 as a state legislator for six, 16 years and uh, was born and raised in this area. And I care very much about not only the future uh, of District 11, um, uh, which is on the southwest side of Milwaukee, sandwiched in between West Allis and Greenfield. Um, but I'm also concerned about the future of the city of Milwaukee's finances. And uh, I think we have a lot of challenges and uh, uh, ahead of us. And um, I think my background and experience um, makes me the best uh, qualified. And I think I mentioned in my uh, message to you that, you know, um, I put out a public statement um, that I'm voting no on the MPS referendum. Right. Which comes on top of, uh, uh, well, which is a result of all the hundreds and not thousands of door knocking that I've done and talking to voters and taxpayers in the 11th district who have told me how they feel. And that includes, Dan, an interestingly large number of people who work for Milwaukee Public Schools in some mm. capacity. And then I think it's because they see firsthand, uh, you know, if they're not struggling with parents who won't do their jobs and help take care of their kids uh, on their end, uh, the teachers and employees and administrators are, are fighting with the bureaucracy and, and uh, at, at the, on Valide Street and all the incompetence and mismanagement that goes on over there. And so they, they know the struggles, and, uh, you know, we just had a 
a multi-million dollar tax increase four years ago for MPS. Um, I actually voted for that one because uh, I thought it was structured right and reasonable, um, and I didn't expect them to come back four years later. Uh, on top of uh, the fact that we have all this federal pandemic money that we still don't even know where it's right. accounted for. State Representative Bob Donovan just called for an audit, and I would agree with him on that. Let's let's have somebody take a close look at this thing. Now, Josh, when you talk about your background, I'm, I'm actually kind of amazed to hear this because you were a longtime Democrat member of the Wisconsin Assembly, and we do need to talk about the circumstances surrounding your exit from the state sure. assembly. I, I think you've made no bones about the fact you have gotten sober in the six years since those allegations were leveled against you. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Um, and the actual uh, situations that, that that are referenced, you know, took place almost 10 years ago when I was going through a very bad chapter of my life due to alcoholism, uh, a horrible disease that unfortunately runs in my family. Um, I got sober in October of 2015 and uh, have not touched booze since then. And it's been one of the best things ever to happen to my life. And I have told that story to uh countless number of people at the doors to get their feedback and they have been uh, very uh, heartwarmingly uh, supportive because it shows that you can see a problem and you take responsibility for your own actions and not blame it on somebody else and turn the corner around if we could do that with a lot of other people in the whether in Milwaukee or let alone the rest of the country uh, we'd have a better society now you are a Democrat uh, Right. And you're running against another Democrat for this seat, which means a lot of conservatives in the 11th district. And there are a lot of conservatives in the 11th. My producer himself just raised his hand and said, hey, I'm one of them. Why should a conservative vote for you over your opponent? Well, I mean, I'm not. Uh, currently a member of the Democratic Party, um, and I purposely did that, uh, well, because I'm, I've kind of become disenchanted with, with the direction they're going on a number of different levels, which we don't have probably time for today. Um, but um, suffice it to say, I wanted to be a nonpartisan and independent-minded candidate for aldermen, because I don't think partisan politics should be uh, played around with um, at, at a city council level. People want their roads repaired. They want to get their calls returned when the garbage isn't picked up or the snow isn't Cloud. Uh, they want somebody who's going to listen to their concerns. Uh, they don't want to get it, uh, embroiled in a lot of uh, ideological uh, stuff. Uh, my opponent is somebody who, you know, ran against the uh, outgoing incumbent Mark Burkowski four years ago. He moved mm -hmm. in to the district I, I, approximately five some years ago, I believe. I can't remember if it was from Tosa or some other place. He trashed Mark Burkowski during that campaign. Now that he got elected to the county as a county supervisor, you know, he claims Mark's one of his best friends and yada, yada, yada. Uh, he has quite a few endorsements and I, that that is what it is. But, you know, um, I, I just really distinguish myself as somebody who's got much stronger roots in the area, which I really think, you know, you need to have be a part of the community if you're for a long enough time to know what's what's going on uh, to be their representative on the Common Council. Um, and so there's some very significant, I haven't, I haven't been able to find out where Peter Bergelis is at on the MPS referendum. I'm sure he's hiding, but, um, you know, he, but just, you know, he, and he's, he's had a real pattern of kind of going back and forth and kind of just saying whatever, uh, along the way, um, you know, he was promising people that he had certain people's endorsements and then, and, and, and uh, throughout the campaign process. And then those weren't coming true. It was just a lot of weird activity. Sure. Um, hey, uh, Josh, and, uh, we, we do, we are running real late for a break. Yeah, yeah we got to get going. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's quite all right. I, hey, I do appreciate your openness about your struggles. Congratulations on nearly a decade of sobriety, man. That is an incredible accomplishment you should be proud of. Uh, what is the website people can find out more about your campaign? We're, we're on Facebook as well as ZepnikForAlderman.com, and it's uh, the number four in between there. So Z E P. N-I-C-K, number four, alderman.com. All right, Josh Zepnick running for Milwaukee Alderman. Really do appreciate it, Josh. You're listening to the Dan O'Donnell Show. It's better know a candidate. We will be back to it in just a second.
Classical conservatism. Contemporary style. This is The Dan O'Donnell Show. Your nose is for breathing. Your mouth is for eating. And if you're breathing through your mouth, it's not because your body wants to. It's because it has to, because your nose isn't working properly. And although you've lived like this, it's no way to live, and it's having a significant impact on your life. I know you know this, and I know that taking action isn't always convenient. But at Advent, we've done all we can to make changing your life for the better as easy as possible. I'm Dr. Mother Candula. With tens of thousands of our patients, a thorough breathing triangle evaluation, along with the simple 20-minute in-office procedure called balloon sinuplasty has opened their nasal passages, allowing them to breathe freely through their nose for good. And there's a good chance this procedure can do the same for you. We'll help you breathe through your nose again, and it will change your life. Go to adventnose.com to schedule your appointment, because Advent knows when you breathe well, you live better. For more information about contests on News Talk 1130 WISN, go to Newstalk1130.com slash rule. This is Michael Lynch from the Lynch Truck Center. We've been working hard sourcing work trucks from all over the country. We currently have over 300 commercial work trucks in stock and ready for your choice of upfit. Our sales team is 100% dedicated to commercial trucks, which means our truck professionals can get you the right truck right now. Our new inventory of Chevrolet, GMC, Isuzu, Hino, not to mention our used inventory, combined with nearly 30 commercial financial lenders, ensures the lowest rates possible for you and the fastest buying experience. Our service center has over 20 dedicated truck bays running two shifts, a contact-free sales process, and delivery drivers ready to deliver your truck right to your door. We know your time is important, so we make sure our process is quick and hassle-free. Find your new truck today at lynchtruckcenter.com or stop into the Lynch Truck Center at Highway 36 in Waterford. We won't disappoint you. It was a doozy, all right. Apparently, things got a little out of hand, as evidenced by the job description. Repair heel marks on conference table. You get the picture. Office party, a few too many drinks, and a gal who felt compelled to use the top of the conference table as a dance floor. And as you expected, we showed up on site and made that tabletop as good as new. By golly, it's Malali. Malali Furniture Finishing and Repair. Serving everywhere. Quality counts. M-U-L-L-A-L-Y finishing.com. Well, if you haven't heard me bragging by now, we're darn good. Actually, my dad has no qualms about saying we're the best. And if you're skeptical, I understand. But all you have to do is go to MalaliFinishing.com to learn why we're great at what we do and see lots of before and after photos that show off our impressive work. So if you're looking for a name you can trust, by golly, it's Malali. Malali Furniture Finishing and Repair. Serving everywhere. Quality counts. M-U-L-L-A-L-Y finishing.com. You may not know it by the changes in the recent weather, but spring is on the way. That means warmer weather, and that means you're going to want to get out and do the things that make you happy when the weather's warm. Do it pain-free. Hey, I'm Benjamin Yacht here to talk to you about QC Kinetics. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. I'm talking about lasting joint pain and relief with no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. It's a fact. QC Kinetics is literally transforming lives. Their advanced treatments harness your own body's ability to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. Pro athletes have been doing this for decades, but now this life-changing treatment is available for you. So you can walk, run, climb stairs, play golf, just move again, pain-free, no pain pills, no risky surgery. This is an all-natural solution. QC Connects has tens of thousands of satisfied patients who've reclaimed their mobility. Take action now. Live your best life this spring and this summer. Call QC Kinetics right now for a free consultation. That's QC Kinetics, 414-285-3474. 414-285-3474. QC Kinetics, 414-285-3474. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com radio. 
With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Semper Fi Roofing and Exteriors, where you'll get the industry's hands-down best lifetime workmanship warranty on your new roof. And now free annual inspections. We keep you safe, warm, and dry. Semper Fi. Don't think twice. Don't call guys. Need a new garage door? Do it right. Don't think twice. Don't call guys. For all your garage door needs, don't think twice. Call guys or visit their online showroom at guysstores.com. Join News Talk 1130 this Saturday at 4 p.m. for The Word on Medicine, the show that brings you the latest medical innovations and discoveries by physicians and scientists at the Medical College of Wisconsin. That's Saturday afternoon at 4 on News Talk 1130. WISN. Built with studs, 16 inches on center, no matter what. Down them homes. Conservative thought. Not just talk. This is The Dan O'Donnell Show. And it is Better Know a Candidate. Candidates' opportunities to talk to their constituents, to talk to voters. Waiting very patiently on hold, Manitowoc School Board member Stacy Soldner. Stacy, welcome to the Dan O'Donnell Show. Hi, Dan. Thanks for having me. Wave to the camera because I'm watching you online. <laughs> How you doing, Stacy? Thank you so much for watching the Dan O'Cam. You bet. So I am uh, Stacey Seldner. I am currently the president of the Mantua uh, Public School District uh, School Board. I'm in a re-election uh, campaign. I'm the only can- uh, conservative that's running, and um, I'm under severe attack. Yesterday, they just uh, started a website in my name, trashing me. So wait, I'm what? Super fun. Yeah, they took my name and they created a uh, hate page. Um, I'm not even going to say the name because I don't want anyone to go there, but they actually took my name and uh, took all my literature and twisted it uh, to their advantage. So it's pretty ugly here in Manitowoc right now. Um, And here's what I don't understand, Dan. Uh, After We we started a new reading program because uh, we only have 30%. 30% of our kids that are reading at grade level. It's been happening a downward slide for the last uh, seven, eight years. And we have uh, launched a new program this year. And after three quarters, we have 18% more of our students reading at grade level. And why that is not um, being shouted from the rooftops by everybody and that I have a group of uh, retired teachers that are uh, coming after me um, is just, uh, it's baffling to me. So where can people find where where career. can people find your real website, Stacy? <laughs> my real website, yes, is Seldner, and my last name is spelled S O E L D N E R. The number four schoolboard dot com. So Seldner for schoolboard dot com. Vote one person. I'm the only conservative. You don't need. There's uh, two seats open. I'm an incumbent. Vote one. Vote Seldner. All right, Stacy. Thank you so much. Let's go now. Two, da, 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 another Stacy. How about uh, Stacy? Is it Riedel or Rydell or Riedel? I apologize, Stacy, but you are running for the Sussex Hamilton School Board. Yes. Good morning, Dan. Thank you for doing this show. It is Riedel. Yes. Riedel. Okay, I was right the first time. See, so yeah, you, you, when you don't, when you aren't sure, you just say something with confidence, and at least ten percent of the time, you'll be correct. You got it. Thanks, Dan. Um, so I'm, uh, my name is Stacey Riedel. I'm a mom of three boys in the district, a leader in the community, a West Red endorsed candidate, and I'm on the ballot for two different races. Uh, the Sussex Village trustee, this is my second term, and I am also running for the Sussex Hamilton board, school board for my first term. <clears throat> 
uh, the last two years, I've helped flip the school board conservative, and this year I'm hoping to join them. I'm running alongside Andrew Rupert, and we are common sense conservative candidates who believe in parent rights, protecting taxpayers' dollars, and keeping core academics at the forefront of education, leaving social media or social emotional learning up to the parents. Well, thank you so much for being so patient on the phones. Uh, Stacy. where can people find more about your campaign? Uh, voters can find more about my campaign on Facebook at Riedel, R-I-E-D-E-L, for eight, the number four, HSB Hamilton School Board. Thank you so much, Stacy. Really do appreciate it. We go now to Sean Flynn, who's running with my dear friend Rhonda Perry, who we heard at the outset of Better Know a Candidate. And he, like Rhonda, is running for the uh, Whitnell School Board. Sean, thank you so much. Welcome to the Dan O'Donnell Show. Hey, Dan, thanks for having me on. Uh, once again, my name is Sean Flynn. I'm a 14-year uh, Air Force veteran. My uh, my wife and I moved to the area here in 2020, um, and we've got four daughters. Uh, one is a freshman at the uh, the high school, we've got twins at the middle school in sixth grade, and then we've got a second grader at Hales Corners Elementary. The um, reason I'm running for school board is really I, I, I saw a lot of division and um, – Really some unprofessionalism as far as the current board members go. Um, just arguments, things that we really, I, I think, can work better together than we can with all the division that I see on the board. And, you know, with everything Whitnall's got going on right now, getting a new superintendent on boarded, um, moving on, you know, as, as far as a possible referendum. Um, you know, I think we really need a good core of leadership that can set a vision for Whitnall and be able to, you know, figure out who needs to be in place to make these things happen and really bring Whitnall back to prominence as a school district. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Sean, thank you so much. Again, that's Sean Flynn running for the Whitnall School Board along with Rhonda Perry. That's Flynn for number four, Whitnall.com. Let's go to the Arrowhead School District and talk with Craig T. Thompson. Craig, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing well, thank you, Dan. I appreciate the opportunity to be on your show today. So why are you running for the school board? Well, I have been a member of the school board for uh, quite a few years now. I am the conservative, experienced member of our board. I've been on church board. I've been on other, other nonprofit boards. I also have a background in education right out of college. Uh, I have a bachelor's in science education from UW-Madison. Then a uh, three-decades-long career in a uh, financial services industry. I, I understand fiduciary responsibility. Uh, for teacher for for teachers for taxpayers, um, and I have the endorsement of three former three former Arrowhead board presidents and our recent retired uh, superintendent. Uh, I want to retain the excellence in Arrowhead education that we have been known for for decades, and the quality education and academics and extracurriculars that we have. Um, more recently, the last couple of years, our board has kind of descended or deteriorated into arguments and um, about ideologies. Uh, your recent guest, Josh Zepnik, mentioned this, your alderman uh, hopeful guest. He said he's not interested in political ideology. He's interested in what's best for, you know, fixing the roads. Well, in my case, I'm interested in what's best for our kids and not in political ideology uh, arguments. So that's fantastic, that's Craig. Well, what is your website, sir? My website is Craig, and the number four, ahs.com craig for ahs.com and facebook you can find me at c thompson ahs c thompson thompson ahs he is craig thompson i am dan o'donnell better know a candidate will return in just a second I'm 
Brett Octonhagen, owner of Brett Octonhagen Seasonal Services. I frequently speak with people who are unhappy with their landscaping and they're unsure how to turn things around. Well, here are four tasks that will make a remarkable improvement to dull landscaping. Number one, thick, lush, green grass. We need food and water to be healthy. Our lawn care programs and irrigation systems provide your grass with everything it needs to thrive. Number two, pruning. Regular, technically correct pruning keeps plants strong and vibrant. Number three, plant bed edging and a fresh layer of bark mulch. There's nothing better than the look of crisp bed edges and fresh mulch. Number four, landscape lighting. You finally have your landscaping looking its best. A landscape lighting system lets your landscaping come alive after dark. So there you are, four landscaping tips that amplify the beauty of your home. Please call Seasonal Services at 262-392-3444 or look for us online at seasonalservices.com. Are you sick of living with outdated, worn-out countertops but are unsure of who to trust with the job? This is Eric from Granite Direct saying we're here to help. From humble beginnings more than 15 years ago, Granite Direct has built a reputation as the go-to place for natural stone and quartz countertops. From the moment you walk in the door, you'll start to experience the Granite Direct difference. Our knowledgeable, no-pressure sales team will guide you through the countless options and answer all your questions along the way. And you'll leave confident that you've made the right choice. Then peering out into our shop, you'll not only notice the state of the art machinery, but expert craftsmen inspecting and putting on the finishing touches, making sure every job is just right. Then the day arrives, you look out your window to see a Granite Direct truck in your driveway. That's when one of our experienced install crews, treating your house like their own, expertly install your new tops, turning your vision into reality. Look, we're not super fancy, but we love what we do, and we're really good at it. If you're ready to make a change, we're ready to help. Where technology meets craftsmanship, we're Granite Direct. Hey guys, Donald Trump Jr. here. Let me ask you this. Does inflation feel worse than what we're being told in the news? That's because the official inflation rate doesn't tell the whole story. Since January 2021, the cost of living has increased by 17.9%. You can't get that money back. But what you can do is stop your losses today. How? By diversifying your savings into a gold IRA from my friends at Birch Gold Group. When you're done, your money will be parked in a tangible asset with a proven history. To see how it works, get your free info kit on gold IRAs by texting the word PROTECT to 989898. I trust Birch Gold. They provide an easy process to roll over your 401k or IRA into gold without losing your tax advantaged status. So text PROTECT to 989898. 989898. That's protect to the number 989898 to get your free info kit on gold IRAs from Birch Gold. Message and data rates may apply. So when you have a hot housing market, why would you pay 6%? I understand some of you might have challenging properties, houses in need of major repair, perhaps even a lot or location that just isn't all that great. Maybe you do need to pay 6%. This is Bob Tarantino from Redefined Realty. Our 3.99% commission plan is perfect for every house ranging from pretty much normal to absolutely stunning. Visit RedefinedRealty.com and save thousands on your next sale. Jay Weber here. If you're someone who's experiencing shoulder, spine, hip, knee, or musculoskeletal pain, and a total joint replacement might be in your future, think Orthopedic Associates of Wisconsin. Find them at orthowisconsin.com. At Orthopedic Associates of Wisconsin, their physicians are committed to providing the highest quality of joint care and specialize in same-day total joint replacements at their own ambulatory surgery center in Pewaukee. You can find them at orthowisconsin.com. Orthowisconsin.com. Orthopedic Associates of Wisconsin. There is a difference. In this week's Marketer's Report, Chris Brandt, Chief Marketing Officer at Chipotle Mexican Grill, weighs in on the power of audio. We've used audio to reinforce what we're showing on TV, what we're showing in other digital channels. When your priority is driving reach, boy, everybody seems to listen to the radio. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to the audiences, conversations, trusted influencers, insights, and data you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. I'm ready for some exciting tournament action. Hi, this is Terry Ludwig, owner of All American Window and Door, here to offer you an exciting signing bonus. Team up with All American for high performance, energy saving windows and doors, and your installation is free. Get your project started now, and we'll have you doing a victory dance up and down your living room in no time. 
Call us for a Chalk Talk to map out your energy-saving game plan. All-American Window and Door, 262-255-7170. Estimates are free. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. to the Dan O'Donnell Show. We are rolling through Better Know a Candidate, and we stop now in Muskego, where we talk with a great member of the Common Council and a loyal listener, great friend of the show, Deb Schrader. Deb, welcome to Better Know a Candidate. Hi, Dan. Thanks. Good morning. Good morning. You're running for another term. Yes, I am. I'm, I've been honored to serve Muskego for the last two years, and I am running for re-election, hoping to get your votes either this week or uh, next Tuesday the 2nd. And why? Well, because I am the conservative candidate that I, I listen to my constituents. I'm a great advocate for them. Um, I have been endorsed by WISRED. Um, I've been a long-term uh, volunteer for the Muskegon Chamber of Commerce. I've been an ambassador for about 10 years. I'm very involved in the community. Uh, I like to see the businesses grow. And I also like the fact that Muskego is kind of uh, a little bit of a farm town, too. I like that aspect of our community. So I'd like to keep the best of both worlds here in Muskego and keep the community safe, taxes low, and just keep our great services that we're offering now to our constituents. And Deb, you have been a great public servant for Muskego. I wish you all the best in your re-election effort. What's your website or Facebook page? Um, Deb for alderperson.com is my website. Um, my Facebook is uh, Deb Schrader Alderman Fifth Muskego Fifth District. And I just want to put a quick plug in for Kevin Zimmerman here for yes. the school board as well. Yes, I so, should. I, um, uh, Kevin is a great friend of the show, a wonderful man. He is actually working his day job, which is as a Milwaukee police officer. So he correct. is a hero. He is fantastic. Uh, couldn't recommend yep. him highly enough. Yeah, and actually the other two incumbents, Blair and Boyer, are great too, but apparently we have a, a write-in campaign that's happening to try and unseat one of them. So. Well, I'm going to ensure that Blair doesn't lose because she joins us right now, Tracy Blair, who is a member of the Muskego School Board. How you doing, Tracy? Good. How about you? I am doing fantastic. You got quite the introduction from your friend Deb. Yeah. So why are you running for re-election? Yeah, I know Deb real well. So thanks, Deb, for the recommendation. I recommend her, too. I have her sign outside my house. Um, I'm a mom of six kids, been on the school board now for two terms, just want to continue it since I still have kids in the district. Um, I know we have an outstanding district, and I just want to continue to do the best things that we can do for our community and our kids. Well, thank you so much, Tracy. Really do appreciate it. Let's go to Ryan Anchak. Is it Anchak or Ansack, Ryan? It's Anzac, like Anzac. Anzac. Okay, I'm I'm doing my best with the pronunciations. You are running for the You're Milwaukee Common Council. Thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying. Ryan is, of good. course, a great friend of the show, longtime friend of the show. You yeah. are running against Joe Costa Zamaripa, correct? That is correct. Um, and like I said, my name is Ryan Anzac or Anchak, if you're Polish. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, See, the, I was uh, going I'm with the, the Polish. Polish. I was going with the Polish pronunciation. The Polish. That's how you were doing it, man. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm co-host of the Valor Latino Show here at Sunday mornings here at WISN, and I'm running for alderman, as Dan had said, in the 8th District, and also as a writing candidate for the uh, county supervisor district against our socialist county supervisor. Um, you know, I'm a fiscal conservative, and my two main focuses are doing whatever I can do to lower crime and rein in spending. And, you know, both our alderwoman and socialist county supervisor supported and voted for nearly the 50% raise in the sales tax here in Milwaukee and um, are also big supporters of the funding the police, which led us to the record murders in 2020, 21, and 22, and obviously uh, the most stolen cars and reckless driving. Um, Go ahead, Dan. I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 please. I was oh, uh, just giving oh. some instructions off the air to my pro uh, producer <laughs> as we're trying yeah, to cool. no, wind up this show. 
just wanted to make sure. So, I mean, if elected, I'm going to put a big spotlight on our judicial system. If our DA's office is, isn't dismissing charges and recommending either low bills or even worse signature bonds, our judges are giving probation to everybody. I'm going to push the judiciary branch of Milwaukee County to put respectable bails on those that are causing the recidivism of crime, to use the laws and the books to keep those criminals in the jail and to keep us safe, because criminals know there is little to no consequences for their crime sprees. Thank you very much, Dan, and I hope that you vote for Ryan Anzac, 8th District Alderman and 12th District County Supervisor. And do you have a website people can go to? Oh, by all means, I, I'm actually just on the Facebook. You can catch it. it, it I couldn't change it. It's called Anzac for Assembly, A-N-T-C-Z-A-K for Assembly, and then in quotes, Alderman. Uh, you catch me on Facebook, and Facebook would have let me change it. Dan. Yeah, so, I know. I can't. I, I I would love to change my name to the Dan O'Donnell Show to do an official show page, but alas, I'm Dan O'Donnell. Ryan, best of luck to you. Really do appreciate it, and really do appreciate all of the candidates who called in today. We have had so many that, folks, we are going to do this again this afternoon. We are going to dedicate the 4 o'clock hour to the Mark Belling late afternoon show to another round of Better Know a Candidate. If you weren't able to get through, we have got a lot of contacts from candidates who texted us. We're going to try to get to as many of you as humanly possible. So if you didn't get through, for those who are on hold right now, you're going to be the first three candidates that we have on this afternoon. So have no fear. Better know a candidate will be back on the Mark Belling late afternoon show this afternoon. We continue the state's largest early vote drive. Get out there and early vote. Let me know about it by shooting me a text. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everyone. My hardworking producer, Dave Michaels, for answering the phones for two full hours. And all those of you who stood up and are running this spring. Best of luck to all of you. This has been Better know a candidate on the Dan O'Donnell Show.